to BZPS TV. This lesson is for grade one math for the week of June 1st to June 5th with lesson two. This is for students who are following the Bridges curriculum. Here are our outcomes for today. We are gonna add and subtract nine, 10, or 11 to a two digit number by using a hundred chart and place value patterns in order to add fluently. That means that we don't want to be counting by ones anymore because that takes a long time. We want to be using more efficient strategies so that we can add and subtract quickly and easily. And we've been working a lot in first grade with adding multiples of 10 or subtracting multiples of 10. We know that nine is one less than 10 and 11 is one more than 10. So we're gonna be using what we know about adding and subtracting those multiples of 10 to help us add and subtract either nine or 11. Let's think about it. Describe what you do on the 100 chart when you add 10, subtract 10, add one, and subtract one. Let's picture the number 76 on the 100 chart. To find 10 less, the number will be in the same column. We just have to go right above our number. So 10 less than 76 is 66. To find 10 more, the number will be in the same column we just have to go right below the number. So 10 more than 76 is 86. You might have noticed from adding 10 or taking away 10 that the digit in the ones place stays the same, but the digit in the tens place is changing. Now let's find one more or one less. To find one less, we just have to go back one space. So one less than 76 is 75. To find one more, we have to count up one space. So one more than 76 is 77. Let's try again. This time, let's look at the number 24. This time, let's try to do it mentally. You may still use a 100 chart if you want to, but try to remember the patterns. What is 10 less than 24? If you said 14, you're correct. What about 10 more than 24? That's right, it's 34. What is one less than 24? That would be 23. And finally, one more than 24 is 25. Today, we are going to use our understanding of adding and subtracting 10 on the 100 chart to help us recognize and extend patterns while adding and subtracting nine or 11. Let's see what this looks like on the 120 chart. This is just like a 100 chart, only it keeps going until 120. I'm going to solve the problem 66 plus nine by counting by ones. Here's 66, let's count on nine times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What patterns do you notice? Instead of being right below our first add end on the 120 chart, it's one space before on the next row. That's because if we add 10, we should be directly below our number on the 120 chart. Since we're only adding nine and nine is one less than 10, 
we will be one space before on the line below. So it's as if we're adding 10 and then taking one away. So we can see that 66 plus nine is 75. Now let's try with subtraction. We will do 75 minus nine by taking nine ones away. Let's take those nine ones away from 75. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can see that when we subtract nine, it's as if we took away 10 and then added one more back on. Taking away 10 would be too many. So we can add one space back on so that we only took away nine. So 75 minus nine equals 66. Let's try again to see if this works with another number. I'm going to solve the problem 15 plus nine by counting by ones. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, instead of being right below our first add end on the 120 chart, it's one space before on the next row. Remember, it's like we added one less than 10. It's as if we're adding 10 and then taking one away. So we can see that 15 plus nine equals 24. Now let's try with subtraction. We will do 24 minus nine by taking nine ones away. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, it's one space less than if we took away 10. So 24 minus nine equals 15. Now that we've discovered the pattern of adding or subtracting nine, let's try to use that pattern to find an answer fluently or very quickly and easily. We'll use what we know about adding and subtracting 10 to help us add and subtract nine. Let's try with 88 plus nine. Instead of adding 10 to 88, which would be right here, I'll add one less which would be one space before. So 88 plus nine is 97. Now let's do it with 97 minus nine. So here's 97. Instead of subtracting a 10, which would be here, I'll subtract one less than that which would be 88. So 97 minus nine equals 88. Look at the place value in the numbers when you add nine. In 46 plus nine equals 55. The tens place increases by 10, but the ones place decreases by one. Look at the place value in the numbers when you subtract nine. The numbers in the tens place decrease by 110, but the numbers in the ones place increase by one. Now let's look at the patterns we see when adding or subtracting 11. I'm going to solve the problem 33 plus 11 by counting by ones. Here's 33, and let's count on by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. What patterns do you notice? 
instead of being right below our first add end on the 120 chart, it's one space after on the next row. That's because if we add 10, we should be directly below our number on the 120 chart. And since we're adding 11, and 11 is one more than 10, we will be one space after on the line below. It's as if we're adding 10 and then adding one more. So we can see that 33 plus 11 equals 44. Now, let's try with subtraction. We will do 44 minus 11 by taking 11 ones away. Let's start on 44 and take away our 11 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We see that when we subtract 11, it's as if we took away 10 and then took away one more. So 44 minus 11 equals 33. Here's another example. I'm going to solve the problem 96 plus 11 by counting by ones. Here's 96, and let's count on by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What patterns do you notice? Again, instead of being directly below our first add end on the 120 chart, it's one space after on the next row. That's because if we add 10, we would be directly below our number on the 120 chart. Since we're adding 11, and 11 is one more than 10, we will be one space after on the line below. So we added 10 and then one more. So we can see that 96 plus 11 equals 107. Now let's do it for subtraction. We'll do 107 minus 11 by counting back by ones. Let's start on 107 and take away 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We see that when we subtract 11, we took away a 10 and then took away one more. So 107 minus 11 equals 96. Now that we've discovered the pattern of adding or subtracting 11, let's try to use that pattern to find an answer fluently or very quickly and easily. We will use what we know about adding and subtracting 10 to help us add and subtract 11. Let's try with the problem 29 plus 11. Let's find 29 on our 120 chart right here. Instead of adding 10, which would be right here, I'll add 10 and one more, which would be right here. So 29 plus 11 equals 40. Now let's do it with subtraction. We're gonna solve the problem 40 minus 11. Instead of subtracting 110, which would be right here, I'll subtract one more than that, which would be here. So 40 minus 11 equals 29. Look at the place value in the numbers when you add 11. The tens place increases by 10. And the one, ones place also increases by one. For subtraction, the tens place decreases by 10. And the ones place 
also decreases by one. Now it's your turn to try it. Use a 120 chart to help you with your try it assignment. Make sure you ask your teacher if you need help. After you've practiced with your try it assignment, it's time for you to show what you know. You may use a 120 chart to help you. Make sure you submit your work to your teacher. Thanks for watching BCPS TV for Grade 1 Math.